morning and happy December 24th. I still have a cold like the rest of the family, but we're being feeling okay. Actually, I don't know about this because she's still sleeping. I think it's around almost nine. Teddy and I have been up for three hours. I got up at six so I could edit the vlogmas from yesterday. So you actually did get an episode today on the 24th. So today's just about drinking a little Porto <laughs> and getting ready for Christmas dinner tonight. And my brother and his girlfriend are coming later. I just wanted to show you this beautiful frosty morning. I'll talk to you later.
Hello friends. Today it is December 25th. It's, uh, I don't know, 7.30 or something in the evening. We just got home from my parents' house. We were uh, at their place for two days celebrating Christmas. We went there on the 23rd. Uh, as you saw on the on the, the episode from the 24th and um, it was a very nice day they had everything um, all the groceries done and everything was done and I was uh, we had a, just a lovely day on the 24th um, preparing all the foods with good time and good moods and everyone was um, comfortable and the atmosphere was just lovely and we had a really good time I like to just have good time to prepare dinner and hang out with my mom and dad in the kitchen and yeah that was just really really nice and we had a lovely Christmas sadly Esther was a little sick Lars was a little sick I was a little sick but a little painkiller a little nose spray and everything was fine the dinner was exquisite like perfect um, that duck was so good. The skin was crisp and everything was delish. Um, yeah, so we got back and I totally told you that I had opened those two before, um, the last episode, I was lying. So just to make, this is like an Immortel, uh, face cream. I've actually been so, um, curious to try this. It's really expensive, so I haven't tried it before. So, uh. Now that my skin is back to normal, I think I'll actually try it. Shampoo in a soap. I have not tried that before. Shampooing solid shampoo. God, that's fun. That's, I'll try that. Anyway, uh, let me start off with showing you the two beautiful skeins of yarn that was in Lisa's um, 24th gift. And uh, I just she wrote down for me what it was. I just want to make sure that it's um, uh, what I say is right. Okay, so the brown one is from a Spanish dyer named Feliz y Punto, I think. Um, it's a cashmere, it's a merino cashmere silk base. It's beautiful. Maybe I should try to get a base like this my own uh, collection. The pink one is the La Bien Aimée Merino Single. Um, and Lisa also got me, and I don't know you, Lisa, I know you, Lisa, I don't know if you know how much I love stickers. So I'm debating if I should put this on my laptop. I actually keep some pretty cool stickers on my laptop and I think I'll put this one there. And always think of Lisa and the basket full of minis she gave me for Christmas. So, thank you. And she also gave me some some sweets. Um, I really love this. I, I love this especially. I love this. I need to look that up. It's so soft. Um, I did pack my Christmas set in uh, my bag from Sandy by the Lakeside. And I prepared um, needles and yarn so i could start my christmas socks in my christmas base but i never got around to it instead i did focus on esther's um scarf and i am at the end i will be finishing this tonight i just need a few more uh rows of ribbing and this is done so tonight i will finish it i will maybe i'll wash it and block it if not tonight i'll wash it and block it tomorrow so if you're curious to see how this turns out, you just have to wait until the next podcast that I will um, be publishing. I don't know, because I don't have a calendar. It's on my phone and I'm using it to record. So I will let you know on Instagram when the next episode is. Um, we need to open these two. This is skein number five in my uh, Dirty Dancing Advent box suck no not suck set box surprise box set and this one is called I think she gets it from me and it is the scene of course you know where um, Johnny is coming to take baby and uh, do the dance on the stage 
and um, they are watching them do the dance on stage and the mom uh, the baby's mom says because she's such a good dancer out there says i think she gets it from me and it's a joke around the house that every time one of my daughters do something that i think is pretty cool or amazing or well done i say oh i think she gets it from me so of course that needed to be a yarn and the colors i will take a picture up here uh, to show you the inspiration so you can see it's actually uh baby's mom and dad and the colors surrounding them in the picture is what inspired me for the colors in this yarn so this is the last one let me show you the all five of them so first we have uh welcome to kelamans then we had the bungalow bunny then go back to your playpen baby hungry eyes and i think she gets it from me so that is the dirty dancing advent collection if you um are using this in some way all together let me know or tag me maybe it should be I'll, I'll think of something. I'll put a hashtag down here so you can use that if you want. Okay. And this is the last game in my advent calendar uh, with all the mini skeins that was inspired by Danish Christmas. And this skein is uh, my inspiration for this inside is New Year's Eve. So while I open this, you can think what you think it looks like if you don't have it already. So it's called Happy New Year and it looks like this. I was inspired by a black or blue sky in the night with lots of firework. So this is what it looks like. So that was all the yarn and all the presents that I had to open. Um, Christmas gifts, I got a lot of beautiful Christmas uh, presents for my family. I don't think I got anything very knitting related, except I got the ottoman for my chair. So I hope Lars will go pick that up soon. Uh, he just gave me like a picture of the ottoman so that he didn't have to bring that to my parents' house. So I can't wait so that I, when I sit there, I can like have my, my feet rest on the on that thing and then um, it, you can also take off the lid and put stuff inside so that's perfect for storage as well so i think that's uh all for uh yarn related content i'm wearing my gold christmas socks and i love them and um tomorrow i'll be casting on that other pair and i can't wait to do that so um guys i just want to say from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for um uh, um sticking with me through all these actually it is 26 episodes of vlogmas because i did a pre and i did like an after so i think maybe no maybe 25 episodes but anyway that's a lot of talking and it's a lot of watching me do um boring things around the house and living my everyday normal life and i want to thank you for watching supporting commenting liking sharing buying my yarn if you don't do that <laughs> There will not be any uh, chemistry on it. So I'm just very grateful for that. And also some of you have been commenting almost every day. I can recognize the same names. And it just makes me super happy to see that almost every day, some of you comment me and say hello every day. It means so much. And it just feels like this circle of knitters, we grow uh, tighter. And uh, I'm so happy about that. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for the support. Thank you for all the sweet words and comments and encouragements that I got from you every day. If I had a bad day, I could just read your comments. And I was reminded why I keep doing this. So even when I was tired, I still um, pull through and did upload an episode every day. And that is thanks to you and all your uh, kind words and love and support. So thank you so much for that. I can't wait to do another year of Vlogmas. And um, yeah, I'm very excited about doing this and having this platform to share uh, this knitting uh, world with all of you. So thank you so much for doing that. If you want to keep in touch, <laughs> um, follow me on Instagram to make sure you don't miss the next episode of an 
of our podcast. It will be in, in the beginning of January, not the first Friday, but probably the second. I don't I don't have a, the whole, uh, what is that called in English? I don't have my schedule or calendar <laughs> memorized, so I'm not really sure what day the first podcast will be. But um, if you are interested, just uh, make sure to uh, check Instagram because I will let you know there. That's all for now, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.